We've been to a lot of locations over the years. We've been to a lot of abandoned buildings and we've done a lot of paranormal investigations. But this is one of the few places we've been where we will put it down to paranormal activity. Hello and welcome to Ghost Theory. In this episode, we investigate inside a farmhouse we believe has only been abandoned for a few years. We have very little history on this place, but throughout the episode, we uncover some interesting things about the family that once lived here. They seem to have a wood restoration company and with the antiques left in the house gave the impression of it being abandoned for much longer. I'm recording. I'm recording. I'm, I'm. Okay. Hello. Go. No, wait. Sorry, right, good. You've stopped recording. No, I haven't. Oh. I haven't stopped recording. Okay. Wow. For your audio. Thank you very much. You're welcome. That was incredibly thoughtful for of you. Hello and <clears throat> Uh, Ghost Theory. That's it. Hello and welcome to Ghost Theory. Hang on. Yeah. There you go, extra lighting for you. Perfect quality. Hi and welcome to Ghost Theory. <laughs> I'm Elliot from Ghost Theory. And I'm he's... Joe from Ghost Theory. And today we've come to one of the most haunted locations in the world. Yeah. Let's have a look around it. <laughs> <laughs> Professionals. Uh, photos. Do you know what? Look at the number plate. GBD92B. Is that out in the driveway? Uh, no, no, not even close. I swear that's just outside. Good, I'll just keep talking to myself. Yeah, well, you do that because I don't know. <laughs> Open the fridge. Oh, wait, what? <clears throat> Lovely, nothing in that. In this location we are going to do a ghost hunt yeah i mean that would be really unexpected for us to do wouldn't it there's a spider in the doorway probably security spiders i don't even know where he just went probably all over me oh my god uh, what's happened i just completely covered in cobwebs oh lovely like i'm absolutely smothered in cobwebs from head shoulders knees and toes there's keys on the ceiling oh this smells odd. I think it's soot. Look at this. Wow. No need to be so patronising. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> I do like a good chair in the middle of uh, like nothing facing a wall. Oh my god, it's smoothing. Joe has something to eat if he gets hungry. I'm a little bit peckish, actually. Do you know what? So am I. <laughs> we just had dinner. Yeah. <laughs> Ghost hunting does take it out on you. What are we indoor? <clears throat> what the fuck is that? Well, what a weird downstairs layout, anyway. But we, 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 yeah. We, we, oh, God. Oh, what the hell is wrong with you? I stepped. You, you, you stepped down into me. Yeah. I was like, you were literally, you were, you were like that, and then you went. You, you were, you were, <laughs> you were. And then you were like, well, what? maybe you, were in the way, you should have better experience of etiquette and you shouldn't stand underneath me. Or you just choose where I you're going. facing that way. It's like, yeah, you were facing, it's like me going on, well, I'm going that way. Yeah. But I'm not. So you see how I avoided way. you? No. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to look. Yeah, I'm coming with you. <laughs> Well, don't blame me when I walk Just, somewhere that you don't want me to walk. Yeah, but you don't face that way and then all of a sudden, like a crab, start walking sideways. Well, I do. It's just the thing is, my strides are bigger than yours because I have normal length legs. No, you don't have normal legs. Like, you're like a flea. You're like their body is massive and their legs are like a set, like not even a millimetre. You're long. like, you are the BFG. Yeah, exactly. The big f. <laughs> <laughs> There's an oxygen tank in front of you. Oh. That's, that looks like a computer to me. <laughs> but that's creepy, isn't it? That's really bizarre. And these are really cool. Anyway. How under who these are? Did they have something to do with the house? Because these are really, really old. I mean, that kid looks dead. So they actually did used to do that, though? What? Um, they would have pictures taken with their like dead relatives. You would dress the child up and sit with it and actually 
have a photo on your mantelpiece of your dead child. It was a really common thing. And I'm just saying, but that child does not look too fresh. Something I've been interested in lately is uh, Victorian death photography. Uh, I didn't actually find out about it until a few months ago, and then we just happened to come across this photo that looks like a dead child with a Victorian woman. In the Victorian era, people embraced the reality of death as the average lifespan was around 40 years. Post-mortem photography was more common than any other type and was used as an attempt to immortalize the dead in a way that was previously impossible. People were often propped up and even had their eyes painted open over the photo to give the impression they were still alive at the time. That's just like painted a really horrible picture of a demon child walking around. Yeah. What, um... Yeah. There was a... Before the train just went past, there was a doom. Yeah. As soon as we talked about a child, <laughs> a demon child. Talk, spoke. Hold on. Is there a child here with us? Wow, I can see. Ooh. There's a child here with us. Can you make two knocks? That's someone running upstairs. I swear to God, I can hear someone upstairs. Can you run around again? We need to go up. You go first. I think it was from that point where Joe found these photos that the atmosphere changed dramatically. And I think it is actually one of the locations where I can pinpoint when the activity started. Actually, seriously, at this point, that was heading upstairs. Yeah. We are not going to pick that up on this, but luckily we are now using the Sony and the Rode mic. And that Rode mic is sensitive. We can pick that up, hopefully. Is anybody here with us? There's so it's really creepy looking. That's stuff. amazing. What? That was a knock. When I asked. I didn't hear anything. Let me go this. Look how creepy that is at that. Oh no, hang on. I'm just going here, stay there. Copy me if you're up, up here. That, oh my God, that was something directly next to me. That, I'm never gonna be able to prove that wasn't me. I'm covered in compost, but that was like something in this bathroom. Just went do, do. In the bathroom. Yeah. That was almost, it was almost in the mic, on the mic, almost. I'm never in my life gonna prove that wasn't me, but. Is that a child? There's actually um, baby wipes and whatnot in there. No, I don't necessarily think that that's got anything to do with me. I honestly, I feel like there's a child here with us. Mm. It's only because we were talking yeah. half about the history of those images. Yeah. And then you mentioned demon child, and it actually sounds like there's a child running upstairs. And then we keep getting responses for it. I'm going to do that <clears throat> knock again. Copy me, please. Please copy me. I don't know. Yeah. Don't be alarmed. Oh my. Oh no. Oh, four. Is there anyone up here? Is there anyone that can communicate? We're just here to talk to anyone who may still be in this building. We're completely open to communication with you. Wow. 
Oh, it stinks of mould in here. The floor's making the same noise as that I had. It is, yeah. I'm trying to figure out the sort of people that you lived here. There's male and female clothes, but there's also what looks like kind of kid stuff occasionally. Really? Which is a bit weird. It was definitely a woman. Please come and communicate with us. We've heard you already. So it's so quiet in it, you could do a pin drop? Yeah. Do you hear that? Why? <laughs> oh, this is so strange. Oh, wow. I thought that someone stood there, then it freaked me out. Oh, that's amazing. Look at this. Let me turn my light off. Look at that. I know it sounds really stupid, it's like one of my favourite rooms. There's nothing even really in it. Mm. I just, like, turn your light down and just feel the atmosphere of this. How homely does this room feel? Do you know what I mean? Mm. I can just imagine being sat in here. I don't know, it, like, this room feels really comforting. Yeah. Which is not a very common feeling we get in these places, actually. It feels warm in not the literal sense. Yeah, which is an odd feeling because mm. you feel like, oh, I shouldn't be here. This feels like something's really welcoming. Can I just... Um, but that might not be a good thing, just saying. I say that room doesn't feel welcoming at all. But don't, uh, you know, demons pretend to be children, children, you know, being warm, welcoming and so on. Just saying. What's that? Is there a child here? Is there a demon pretending to be a child? Because if you want us to be scared, then we're not scared. If you want to feed off of negative energy and so on, you're not going to get that from us, but you're more than welcome to say hello. That was horrible. <laughs> That came from your nice room. That came from my right ear, it was down there. It won't come from my right ear. Right. But... We're here, here. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> we're here to communicate. Ooh. What was that? <clears throat> we are here to communicate, meaning you no harm. Unfortunately, I get an opposite feel right now. In, is there any way that you can confirm whether or not you mean us harm? Because I know you're here. Make a real loud bang if you want to hurt us. I, are you just playful? I think it's a, I think we are generally talking about a child. Yeah. Not necessarily a demon child, but an actual child. Mm. Come and talk to us. It's like, I know you say you always don't want to call out because it's like, what are you even... I kind of almost feel like there's no need... Someone was ill. Why well, do you know that? Because they're sick bowls. Or like... Yeah. They're there for people who have... Who can't get out of bed to like throw up? They've had something in them too. Oh, maybe someone actually died in this room then. If they're in this room, yeah. 
Okay, well, let's ask that question. Is there someone in, in this room that potentially died in this room? And introduce ourselves again. We're just two paranormal investigators, two explorers, if you like. We like to come around to these buildings to see if there's anyone still in them and to say hello. Sometimes it's nice when you can talk back to us and we can try and have a conversation. We can get some answers about the afterlife and you get to see someone. So can you come up to us and talk to us? Can you do any anything you can just to give us some form of communication? Were these down here yours? Did you die in this room? Did you maybe even die on that bed, that mattress there? Is there anything that we can do to help? That was a voice. There's a bloody annoying fly, but there's also a voice then. <laughs> like a woman. It's always a woman. Yeah. Are you female? What in there? Okay, good. Was did you do do? Mm -hmm. Are you walking around this room? We're not scared, and I don't want you to be scared of us either. It's just sometimes it can be quite shocking. <laughs> but we'll get used to it the more you do it. There's something on that moving. Were you just moving anything on here? Can you hear that? Yes, I can. Just bass. Are you walking around us? If it is, can you stop? Has that stopped? Yeah. Can you do it again? It's hard to figure out what is abandoned building and what's paranormal. And then move. What? The bag, the bag. Are you there with the bag? Can you move it? It's insane. Did you, you caught that? You had your camera on. I had it directly on it, yeah. <laughs> I love stuff for that because it's mm -hmm. obviously not us. In yeah. a sense, like, we're not there. You were near it at one point. There's a chance you've dislodged it. Can you move that bag again for us? Go on, just... Whoa. <gasps> wow. This is epic. It's still moving. Go on. If you can. I've got it, I've got it. What? The, uh, the mirror is moving. The desk is moving.
What, what happened? What's happening? I can hear it, but I, didn't, so I can't see it. If, that, if that's you... Just, if that's you, please, please make a noise with the mirror. The whole fucking ground is, like, vibrating. Do you think that's just... This a, is it, the trains? You, no, because I can't hear the train. You can hear the train when it's out there. Some of this has got to be paranormal. <laughs> yes. Is that one for yes? 2017? Really? Well, that's weird, actually. Random thought comes to mind. Yeah. Right, you can see that I'm not yes, doing Yes, yeah, yeah, I've got that all on camera. The creepiest room in this house by far was the main bedroom where that cabinet was sat in the middle. It sounded like this cabinet was vibrating. When I stood next to it, something clicked or hit as if something had was opening the drawer. And then it actually sounds like the drawer almost gets closed. It makes this kind of whooshing sound as I was right next to it and I was on camera. So you can see that I was not doing anything. I wasn't even close to it really to make those sounds. A drawer just opened or closed. Right, I was going to say, you know, like we quite often go to places that are insanely old mm -hmm. or the death or what had happened, it was really, really, mm -hmm. like a long, long time ago and the activity is okay, but it's just sort of like the, the occasional mm -hmm. tap or, you're, mm, okay. 2017. Not long ago. Someone, you know, it could be at least after 2017 potentially. Yeah. We're I mean, talking five years. Is it more active because it was so much more recent? I don't know. Mm -hmm. No, I know what you mean, more energy. Because I mean, if you're talking like about how energy and it's, it, it, like, spirits are energy, then yeah, like energy will eventually turn into something else, wouldn't it? Mm. Like it wouldn't stay as that same form of energy for forever. Fly, go away. Oh, we're getting so much stuff in here. <laughs> are you with us now? Do you want us to stay here, make a sound? Respectfully, would you like us to leave, make a sound? Do you not know what you want, make a sound? Is that not? I think that is one of the most active rooms we've ever been in. There is no doubt in my mind that we were talking to something. And um, I, I will go as far to say as that that is paranormal. What we witnessed in there was paranormal. So much happened. I am absolutely astonished with the activity that we've caught here um, tonight. So we're, we've come downstairs now. We're going to set up some cat ball trigger objects. Would you like to explain what thus have done? Monge 2, Monge 2, Gary Barlow. So we have around the objects. I will show it. Go on. That. Ren pod. Pod of the Wren. Mm -hmm. uh, and we put it around essentially all the pictures and the things that <clears> may <throat> have some connection to the family that live here. We have a ball a la cat on the surface of the ground next to us. So any spiritual creatures may come up and find some reaction to that when thus playing on au revoir. Yes. And so I shall call out. Go on then, Barry. We appreciate everything you've done so far. We're just getting ready to leave, but we are going to wander around downstairs in hope that you can do something loud and distinctive just to let us know you're here. And that would be great. Can you please make any noise possible?
When you first said that, it actually did sound like something moved, but... Mm. How about some of these objects we have on the table? Has anybody here got any emotional attachment to them? Maybe you could move one to, to show us which one is your favourite photo. If you do that, there will be a, a weird noise, but it won't hurt you. Are any of the, the spirits here one of these people? Is that a yes? There's a chair in this room. It would... I think that might have been me. Okay. It would be great if you could move the chair. We would be grateful. Just spin it around or anything. It really sounds like it's gone quiet as well. But there's none of that walking around or anything anymore. No. Like the room that we were in, where all that activity was happening, is this room here. Yeah, yeah. So... Well, it's, it's actually sort of that one. Yeah, right? I mean, it's technically this one, but it's half and half. Yeah. Weird. And there's nothing going on now. Calling out to any spirits here. Please do one last thing before we go. Make a really loud, impressive sound for us. Just to say goodbye. Fuck off. Did you hear that? Yeah, what was it? Don't know. I had my back turned against this, this room and I was kind of filming Joe. And I had a knock on the window right on my left ear. And it, it really, really shook me up. Um, it was so clear and so prominent. And the thing that shook me up was that it was the same activity as I was hearing in a building sort of like opposite um, in the previous investigation. I think it was a window tapping again. Was it the chair? Was that you? Really appreciate it if that was you. So I've just heard a really, really similar sound to my left, but a lot quieter. That really got me. That's yeah, that really, is... that's really, really got to me. That has. Why that specifically? Of every compared, you know. Because it was just right there in my ear, and it sounded really like. It sounded like the chair moving, actually, or a window tapping. I don't know what it was. Hopefully you picked it up on that. Should we move on yeah. through there for a sec? I wonder, really wonder why. I almost sounded like this window. Hmm. I, I barely heard it, but I kind of know what you mean. Yeah. I presume whoever was here liked wine because we've got lots of uh, wine labels on here. Can you confirm that by making a, no a, a noise? Maybe point to the one that was your favourite? Hmm. 
Mrs. Rosemary Roderick. <coughs> Year 2000. Mm -hmm. Sums up. Rosemary. Is there a woman called Rosemary here had really bad heartburn? <coughs> Weird question, but I mean, technically mm. it's accurate. Well, we have a name. Rosemary? So is there someone here called Rosemary, or is there someone here that knows someone called Rosemary? There's a yes to either one of those questions. Can you just make a nice, a, a nice loud sound for us? Rosemary. Or anyone who knows her, please try and contact us. Do we, uh, what's that colour again? Black screen. That's it. 